10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I have 21 liquid lipsticks. Uh, I'm going to go through and see how much I can declutter. Yes, we're doing a declutter video today because uh, New Year, new makeup is coming out and I need room for it. You know, 21 liquid lipsticks for a normal person like me who is not a makeup artist, not a makeup guru, would be a good idea to get rid of it. So today, yes, we are doing a declutter. I figured I would just swatch it out, talk about why I don't want to keep it in my collection, my itty bitty collection. Start with this one. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Gloss and it's number 318 Bare Attraction. When I first got this one, I really liked it and now I never wear it. People say there's like a, a smell. There is a smell to it. Um, that's not really why the reason I don't really wear it anymore. Let's watch it. It's a uh, kind of a moussey texture. It's a very, very pretty color. Anyways, it's a very peachy matte nude. I really like the color. The formula is not my favorite because as the you know the name of it implies it's a matte gloss yes it dries down matte but no it is not transfer proof it's not really drying i really like the color though and the fact that it's not drying makes it more comfortable to wear this one i just convinced myself that i want to keep it so yeah i think i'm gonna keep this one next up is the oh, another one it's the l'oreal Falbo pro matte gloss and a different shade and three it's three number 314 nude elude this one seems a little more pink it's a little darker and i do okay i didn't mention this but i do like the doe foot that's on these it's like a pointed it's really easy to get into the cupid's bow to line the lips and everything and here i'm gonna swatch it for you It's just a little bit more pink. This is more peachy, more pink. You feel me? I think I'm going to keep it too. Pretty much the same exact reasons as the one before it. Alright, next up. L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick. I keep looking at myself, sorry. It's just hard not to. This is the actual matte liquid lipstick, while the other ones were just the matte glosses. I got this in the shade number 358, shade Cowboy. And the reason I was so excited and I bought this is because I saw Cassie or Miss Thriftic here on YouTube. I saw her review these and I do quite like the formula, even though it's a little teensy bit more drying than their Pro Matte Gloss. Obviously because it needs to dry down for it to be, you know, transfer resistant or transfer proof. I got this, sh I think it's the shade that's throwing me off. It's too brown. It looked so good on her. So good. But uh, I think she's a lot more of a pale princess than I am. It's just so brown on my, oh wow, that's a huge swatch. It's great swatches. Um, It's just too, it's just too brown. I don't like it. I can't pull it off. So I'm going to be getting rid of the matte liquid lipstick I need all right next one is the sephora collection gosh cream lip stain in the color that's a good question it's like antique or something like that i could never read these things i'm just gonna swatch it for you i'm not sure what the shade is i can't read it Ugh. It's a kind of a nasty noise. It's just a regular doe foot. I like nothing to write home about. It's the shade though. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. And you can tell what kind of shade I like. All of these are different, but yet they're kind of the same. This is a... La, la, la. So those Pro Matte lip glosses from l'oreal they're kind of a thick formula when you put it on it feels thick this is a cream stain so it's much thinner but because it's much thinner i feel like it wears off my lips faster um i really like the color i'm pretty torn with this one though 
I have a maybe pile. I'm going to have a middle pile called the maybe pile. We're going to put it there. All right. Next is a Kat Von D liquid everlasting liquid lipstick. And this is in the shade Ophelia. All right. So for this swatchy swatch. You can see how it compares. I like her formula. Yeah, it's pretty drying, but it stays. It sticks. This color does not look, does not, I can't pull it off. I, it's too, I don't like colors that are too light on my skin. Like, I don't like it. So, I, <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this. I'm going to be getting rid of the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in Ophelia. Moving on. Alright, so I'm moving on to ColourPop. And this, okay, so I had to mark these ColourPop ones. With an M or an S because I wasn't, because <laughs> you see how they kind of just like, uh, rub away. It just rubs away. And it was either the ColourPop Ultra Matte Glosses, Ultra Matte Lipstick, something like that. Um, but this is in the shade Stingray. I hate the ultra matte formula so I'm gonna be getting rid of this and this is going to be another ultra matte I had to put the M on there for matte this is in the color bumble this used to be a, a favorite I used to wear this one all the time and look how bright it is it's so pretty anyway for the same reason as the other ultra matte liquid lipstick from ColourPop I'm gonna be getting rid of bumble Moving on, another Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the color, is this Lolita or Lolita 2? They're so teeny tiny, I can't read them. This is Lolita 2. And because everybody likes swatches, they like to see color comparisons, that's why I'm swatching. Ooh, she's getting a little dry. It's because I love this lipstick. This is like... This is my favorite Everlasting Lipstick. This shade. This this is the one that looks the best on me. This is why I'm going to be keeping it. I'm going to use it till it's gross. <laughs> and then I'll be buying another one. Alright, and this is the original Lolita. Lolita. And I'm going to be swatching her out too. She's a little darker. A little darker, which and the Lolita 2 is a little peachier, but same thing. I'm gonna be keeping this one. The Lolita colors are some of my all time favorite from the Everlasting Cat Bunny's collection. Um, now I'm moving on to a drugstore. Actually, this is the Hard Candy Velvet Mousse lip color, matte lip color. Oh, there you go, Velvet Mousse Lap. <laughs> lap? Velvet Mousse Matte Lip Color from Hard Candy. You can find this at Walmart. It's cute packaging. It's like slim. And it comes in like a a tin. This is in the shade Heather. It comes with like a one of those flat doe foots. And then this is the shade Heather. obviously see the trend here what kind of colors that I dig it's definitely what the name implies it's definitely a moussey texture I personally don't feel like it really dries down to the full matte finish uh, it's not transfer proof um it wears okay I think I'm gonna let it go just because it looks so similar to um the Lolita shade it's pretty similar it's similar enough for me to feel okay with letting it go Okay, so moving on, we have a NYX Lip Lingerie in the shade Cabaret Show. And do foot as the hard candy, which I don't mind these kinds of, I don't mind these kinds of doe foots or applicators. It's not really a doe foot. It's kind of brown. So is this one. Actually, it's more pink. This is more brown. I don't know. I've worn it a couple times and I just don't like the shade on me. It's too... I look too dead with it on. So I think I'm going to be letting this one go. 
Moving right on, on I got another color pot color popped color pop lipstick and this is an ultra satin I put the S on there so S for ultra satin and this is in the shade Calypso God, you pull it out and it makes that disgusting sound I'm actually a big fan of this color and I'm going to be keeping it because I like the ultra satin formula much more than I like the ultra matte obviously because it's a less drying and it's still a kind of a matte it's still a matte formula it's not very satin at all I, I find it more matte than satin but it's way less drying than the ultra matte formula which is why I feel pretty okay keeping it all right moving on I have another Kat Von D <laughs> everlasting Loki lipstick this one is Nosferatu the vampire and it's this gorgeous red color not that I wear reds that often but this is like oh my god it's not focusing sorry but it's all pretty sh it's no it's not it's so pretty oh, oh it's not going anywhere I'm keeping it right but I next one is another Kat everlasting look lips liquid lipstick this one is sorry that I do that clicking I picked that up recently and I'm not really sure why um this is in the shade vampire it's a deep brick red it's a brownie red even though when you pull it out it has like a purple hue on this so I'm not really sure what this color is yeah it's like a deep red violet color I really don't wear it that often but it's so unique to my collection that's because I don't have anything else that's why it's so unique and I'm probably gonna be keeping it no okay the reason I don't wear these darker colors from Kat Von D all that much is because I don't have lip liners for them I need to find a lip liner for these I'm gonna keep them and give myself a couple more months to find a lip liner to go with them and if I don't, maybe in the next, another declutter video, I'll end up decluttering them. This is only my first declutter video, so give me a break. Guess what it is? Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Exorcism. You know it. I'm going to be keeping this one, too. Oh, God, it's so pretty. <laughs> For the same exact reason, I'm going to be keeping it because I love the formula. I love the color. I don't wear it because I don't have a lip liner. So give me a chance. I'm going to give it a chance. I'm going to find some lip liners and see if I wear these more. Let's spend more money to wear the lipsticks because, you know, the fact that I spent $20 on them already, I got to spend more to wear them. Moving on. I, I have another L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Gloss in number 316 Statement Nude. Gonna swatch it oh my god to the elbow to the window to the wall I don't like this color I just don't like it it's too light it's too light on my lips I don't like it it looks darker in the tube than I feel like it does well maybe I don't know maybe it's just because it's so compacted and opaque and then on here it just looks lighter I don't like the color I'm letting it go I don't want it Moving on, we have, I, we have, I have the, um, Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Katsu in Gambi Mocha. I really like this packaging. I don't know why. I just like the way it feels. I like the acrylic. I like the top. It's kind of like chubby. I like that this is clear for whatever reason. And it's like a little elf throne. I forgot who referred to that first. It might have been Cassie, who's Thick here on YouTube. I watch her a lot, okay? There's a lot of YouTubers I watch religiously, but she's one of them. So if I refer to her a lot, that's probably why. But I think she referred to these as like little elf thrones, and I love it. So every time I see it, I'm like, you know, elf throne. You can just see, you know, a little elf sitting there. Let's move to the side, because, uh, this side. Boop, boop, boop. It's kind of a thinner formula, I feel like. Kind of patchy. 
Maybe it's because I just don't wear it. I think, oh God. I never wear it. I never, Sarah, you never wear it. Such a pretty, all of these colors are pretty. I can't tell. Oh, it looks, actually looks a lot like this one. What the heck was this one? I don't remember. Oh, I think it was one of, I don't need it because it looks a lot like the other one and I think I kept that other one. So I'm going to be letting go of the little cat suits and went wild. Moving on, we got one from Ofra Cosmetics. It's their long lasting liquid lipstick and this is the shade Miami Fever. Now this is a shade that I really don't have. Like, yeah, I have a lot of pinks. Okay, but this is like straight up orange. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. It's like a really fun color. It's a really fun color. I really like it. I'm keeping it. Plus, I like the O for Cosmetics. This is the first and only one I bought from them, and I really like the formula. It's thinner, but it lasts. It's not super drying. Um, it's a unique color, so I'm definitely going to be keeping this one. Moving on, I have another ColourPop oh, Ultra Matte Liquid lipstick and as you can see I really don't wear this one it's like settling in the tube because they, the way I store them is I store them like laying down so that's why it's like that I'm gonna swatch it just so you can see the color this is the color uh tool but for the same re Ugh, so pretty it's so pretty but because I don't like the ultra matte formula I'm gonna be getting rid of it there's really no sense of keeping it because I'm never gonna wear it. All right, getting down to two that I like never ever wear, but I'm probably gonna be keeping them. So the first one is a uh, Too Faced Melted Matte Lipstick, but it's their gingerbread one. It's the holiday collection from 2017 gingerbread one. It smells like gingerbread cake batter. I like it, but if I smell it for too long, it definitely gives me a headache. And I've noticed that if I put it on, I can smell it for like no more than five minutes, which is kind of a long time to be smelling this. Well, is it, am I exaggerating? I can't, I don't know. I don't think I'm exaggerating, but I don't have this color. Like nowhere else on my arm is that color besides maybe right there, but it's much uh, more of a deeper red and this is more orangey while this is more bricky, like a brick red. So yes, I am will be keeping this one. All right, next one, I got a Stila. So was it Stila Stale Day Liquid Lipstick? Um, what shade is this? Oh my god, Beso, Beso. Oh, it's Kiss. Right, it's Kiss in Spanish, isn't it? Beso, Besito. It's like a it's a flat doe foot, but you can see, like, at the very tip on this side, like, right there, there's, like, a teeny tiny, tiny slant. This is the only true red liquid lipstick that I have. I actually got it with a Lexus. This is, like, the blue-based red where your teeth are white AF. Um, I will be keeping this. It's the only Stila Stale Day lipstick I have ever owned, and, um, I have swatched it, like, on my lips, and I've liked it. I've never really worn it out yet all right for that reason I want to wear it I just haven't really had a reason to wear a red lipstick so that's why I'm gonna be keeping it until that reason comes up I'm keeping 11 I did decide to let this one go yeah I'm gonna let it go and I should be losing 10 let me I'm gonna move the camera so I can show you the ones that I am not keeping all right these are the ones that i am getting rid of l'oreal infallible pro matte gloss l'oreal infallible pro matte lipstick color pop color pops for collection the nyx uh lip, lip lingerie wet and wild liquid katsu kat von d everlasting liquid lipstick and ophelia and then the heart candy velvet mousse these are the 10 that i'm getting rid of and these are the, uh, what I say, 11 that I'm keeping. 
two of the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Glosses. One, two, three, four, five of the Kat Von D Everlasting, Everlasting, Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. We got a ColourPop Ultra Satin. We have an Ofra Cosmetics. We have the Steel of Stale Day. And one Too Faced uh, Melted Matte Lipstick. And that's all I'm going to be keeping. Alright, thanks for tuning in, guys. This is Bumblebee Beauty. You're watching Sarah. If you liked what you watched and it was entertaining and you passed some time, you just hung out with me, whatever you did, um, be sure to like and subscribe. Um, this channel is what started with me and my best friend. We're currently making our own videos and posting them to this channel because she is currently away at college right now and that's why we're doing separate videos. But when she comes back, we will be making videos together once again. And as, uh, yeah, thank you for joining me and I hope you guys have a good day.